YouTube, it's Flippin' Eric. I'm back on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. Got my son throwing knives. Got my dog on the deck. What gets better than that? So yeah, I know I've been absent lately. Man, it's been a whirlwind for me. So after my Texas trip, I get back, work, you know, you know, going back to work after 10 days is crazy. Well, after that, go to Mexico. <laughs> I get home and my dog, she, she almost killed herself. So the first day I get back, I was informed of this. Um, she's got this massive, massive wound. Um, she has to have a second surgery tomorrow and it's just been crazy for me on top of like my 40 orders that I got to pull. Um, I just haven't had a minute to do anything on eBay or sorry, YouTube. I wish I could more. Do you want to pull a couple orders with me for, old time's sake. <laughs> so I've been selling like a huge assortment of stuff. Um, I mean, it's, I think people are just on there like shopping and then they're like, oh, maybe I'll buy this for myself, right? Um, so let's see, like for example, well, this isn't the first order of the day, but this is the first one I'm gonna pull for you. So uh, are games, are they media mail? One right here, I sold for nine bucks. I mean, I paid five, I've had it forever. And so I didn't want to lose any money, so I did media mail, but I don't think it is media mail. I'm gonna go with it though. Don't turn me in, please. Man, my nose will not quit running. It is freezing. It is freezing out here. Like, I'm cold. I need to get my heater working. So the next order, let's see, was an item I picked up from Home Depot. Uh, by the way, how are all your sales doing? Like, maybe I already asked you this, but um, I'm selling way more than I thought I would. And here's a little pro tip for you. When you're going on vacation, set your return time uh, like two or three days after you get home because, so I mean, I've got like 30 orders right now that have to go out by tomorrow. Um, and luckily I set my vacation days to allow me to do that. I've been home for a few days, but I haven't had to send things out. So there's my pro tip. So back to this item. This is why I get the, uh, the odd items. You know, people typically wouldn't pick up a corner a shelf for your bath. It's also the kind of item that somebody sees and they're like, I would actually like that. So I've got it for them and I've got it for them for a really good price and I made really good money on it. So there you go, 22 bucks all in. Plus 791 shipping they paid. Uh, and I don't know how I'm gonna get it there. Probably just in a bag, that'll work. You know, it's funny, I wasn't even gonna make a video today, but I'm like, I got all these orders, I gotta show somebody. And honestly, uh, Matt over uh, Front Range Flips, He's been making so many videos, he's almost made me feel guilty. So I'm like, all right, I'll make a video. <laughs> and as you know, my uh, Sunday live streams have kind of fallen by the wayside. I'm gonna get back up on that probably the beginning of the year um, with a better schedule and possibly even a co-host. It hasn't really gone how I've wanted it to, I guess. Um, yeah, so I think we'll start over there in the fifth year. Right, next item as I fumble through my orders today, is something I've had for quite a long time. We got a lamp. I think it still has oil in it, and I don't know. I guess I'll just dump that into a cup. So this here lamp, um, right at the beginning of COVID, right as they shut everything down, it was like in February. I think I told you about this guy that he's, he went ahead and had a, had a yard sale. He didn't put a, a sign up or anything. Um, so I didn't have any competition. So I got a bunch of stuff like this for really, really cheap. Um, you know, I probably shouldn't have been out, but I was safe and I got a bunch of stuff. This is from back in March and I just sold this for like 40 bucks plus shipping. Just a little clip here of some cards wow, I sourced. I will sell them here? for wholesale to anybody that is interested. Please let me know. They are on consignment and I would sell them all for one low price. All right, so here is an order that I know um, is not media mail, but 
I couldn't ship it any other way. And hold on, let me show you. What oh. it is, is just blank paper. And I've had this listed probably since I started eBay. At the time, I probably honestly did think that it was media mail. I have learned since that it's not. But everybody else on the internet is sending it uh, media mail or you can't afford to sell it for what? 14 bucks. I mean, come on. So I confess. All right. So these took forever to sell. I kind of thought they would. I listed these at the end of last ski season. Right there. Oh. Ski goggles. Here's the thing about sporting goods in my town. We have a, a place called Owls, and every so often they have distributors that will give them items for like so cheap. I mean, it's amazingly cheap. I think I paid five bucks for these. Um, but yeah, they didn't sell for a long time. They ended up selling for $25 free shipping all day long. I love sourcing from Owls. Right before I pulled my next order, my sister informed me that she needs records for her new record play for Christmas. So, had to dig out all my albums. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool when it comes to the point where uh, your loved ones are like, hey, do you got this? Or could you get this? And you're always like, I got you. And you got a good deal too because I never make money off my fr friends or family. Straight up. Ever. Okay, so here's a bit of a bolo for you. Um, Kirby uh, in Dreamland. I think pretty much for any platform is going to do good for you. This one is a Game Boy Advanced and sold for $24. Um, I don't think I paid anything for this. Yeah, no. It was part of a deal. But I paid two bucks for like 12 games inside of a case and yada yada. It's free, free money. All right, guys. So next item is actually a dumbbell. Uh, they're still selling. And I actually, so Icon Health and Fitness is actually based here in uh, my valley. So I think that's why we might still have these on the shelf. This is a 15 pounder. I sold it for $37.77. Yes, Dante, I stole that idea of a price from you, but it worked. I've sold two of these lately and uh, they cost me $11.19 to ship out. I'm really only making about 10 bucks a piece on these, but right now, 10 bucks a piece when you're selling like 30 items a day. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> So my advice on selling dumbbells for today is just get the ones uh, that you know what it's going to fit in. So I got these ones knowing it's going to go into a regional A. Um, if you don't know how you're going to ship it, I wouldn't buy weights. All right, so we're going to finish this up real quick because it's freezing and we would be here all night if I showed you everything, okay? One cool thing I sold was this Civil War game. Um, yeah, it's got like all these crazy pieces in there and... You fight the fight, and somebody bought this out of country. I don't know what country, because they went through the the shipping program, but um, I bought this from the January house. Uh, he ha actually has an auction tonight, so I ended up flipping that, made a few bucks off him. Okay, box of Night Revive. I will give any of you a box of that for five bucks if you want it. Um, I sold another one of these trimmers for 130. Now that's pure profit, because what I did was I took those trimmers, Sold the battery for exactly what I paid, 149 or, yeah. Anyway, and then this is 130 So after fees and all that, send done shipping, I think I'm making like 60 bucks per. So it wasn't a, too bad of a gig. Okay, I need to get this out. This lady paid $25 for me to ship this, I believe, to Canada. Uh, wants it there before Christmas, and I lost her label. I paid like a dollar for that at Home Depot. Okay, lost. Boom. That sold for like 10 something. Uh, and I got that for free from the dump. Please don't tell anybody that I got something free from the dump. Um, and then I have an order right here that I can't find. I cannot, I don't, I can't find it in my history. I don't know what happened. So good luck to me on that. Okay, last item. And the reason why I like to teach you guys about shoes is because you can make a lot of money off of these. Oh, one second. Okay, so for anybody interested in making money on Air Jordan shoes, this is the Air Jordan 11 Retro, size 11. I usually get my size in case I want to keep them. I don't recommend that. Okay, um, this one I got early 
before anybody else. And I think I paid, let's see, two, 220. Just sold these for 315 bucks and it didn't take long at all. About two to four times per month, there is a shoe that will drop that will net you $100 all day long. So if you wanna know more about shoes, reach out to me. If not, don't reach out to me. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you um, all. I know I've been absent and uh, I might be a little absent in the, in the near future. I've got a lot going on, but uh, I'll be around. I'll be around. So y'all take care, stay safe, love you, bye.